Hey people, this is The Broken Puppet. Welcome back to my daily tutorials. Today we're drawing this beautiful girl on the right with amazing hair and a lollipop. So this is how we're going to do it. It's going to be the exact image we end up drawing. We're going to start off with a circle. It's going to be the base for the head. Off the sides of the circle, we're going to bring the curved lines coming down to a point. That space is roughly about half the size of that circle. And once you've got it done, you want to draw a line halfway through the entire thing, so half and half, and a line roughly through the centre, just a tiny bit skewed towards the left. Bring the line down, come from the centre, so it's going to create a bit of a spine sort of shape, and I'm going to create the shoulders. So I'm going to do two little circles, and that's roughly about the length of the head. Near the left shoulder, we're going to do this little box shape, this elevated on one side, and it's going to be roughly half the size of that head. It's going to be the base of the hand. And then off that top rectangle area, we're going to bring these lines coming off to circles. We're going to have four circles for four fingers. Coming off those circles, we're going to bring another two lines to another circle, slightly smaller than the first one. That's going to create the second part of the finger. And then off that, you're going to create your tip. So a little curved line coming to it with a point towards the end. You can have the thumb in there, so the thumb's about halfway through that box shape, a little circle curving up to it, and the curved line coming up, finishing just between those two top fingers. And that's the basic rough outline for a hand. And once we've got that, I'm going to put a little bit of neck in there. So we're going to curve down from the center part of the head, just curving a little bit outside the box, like, that, like so. Just come a little bit higher than that. Just bring a curve line coming out, going around that shoulder, and that's just going to give that rough shoulder line. You know, the head's a bit forward, so the shoulder, line, the shoulder is a bit elevated towards the back of the head. I'm going to bring two lines here. One's halfway through the lower half of the face, and one halfway through that lower section we just put there. Now that halfway line that's directly halfway through the face, we're going to divide into five equal sections. Through section two and four, we're going to do the eyes. So we're going to do these curved lines coming out, fairly thick, with a nice flick towards the end. Create a little dip line here, just cause the bottom, just create a bottom part of the eye, and just mimic the shape over the top to create an upper eyelid. Two little circle shapes on the inside, just add a extra couple of lashes, you know, just make the eyes really full and delicious. Now the corner of the eyes and the centre pupils draw lines down to those two lines. That's going to give you the rough width for the nose and a rough width for the mouth. For the nose you can see, you're just going to do like a big circle. That's going to give you like the button nose bit and two circles on the side to give the nostrils. And once you've got that done, put in detail. So do little sort of two black dots inside the nostrils, curving down and two curved lines just around the smaller circles on the side. You know, it's a really simple way of structuring the nose and getting there just right. Now put another halfway line just between that little gap, just between the nose and the mouth line. Because of her expression, you know, it just helps kind of get the positioning for this. So from those corners, I'm going to bring that line across, create a curve line up a little dip just underneath the nostril. Well, not nostril, the centre part of the nose, rather. Right. Draw a curve line under here, and that's going to create the basis for the way the teeth are going to go. And you've got the lips. Now you've got to remember, she's got the uh, lollipop in her mouth, so that lip is going to be slightly skewed to the left. And then it's going to draw straight lines in a circle to create the lollipop. Just going to reinforce those lines now, you know, because I know they're exactly where I want them to be. So little lines just in the teeth to divide it up, so you've got the two front teeth, the two side, and the two next to it. Once you sort of feel confident you've got it in the right place, then just go over a little bit darker to sort of stamp it in place. Now draw two curved lines just from the inside of the eyes, and that's going to give corners for the eyebrows. Correct the eyebrows, going to curve them around, and if you sort of follow the edge and curve around to where the uh, eyelash is, it gives you a really good point to where you want to sort of end it. Once you've got it where you want, just go over the top, I'm going to start with the hair. Now the hair we're going to sort of divide into sections. So you can see here, I'm just building up the block shapes first. Really want to tell the curve of the hair. You know, I'm not too worried about the actual line detail at the minute, just more about the structure. So here on the right hand side, I wanted to curve them down, come around, and I put a circle in there roughly where the ear would go. And the left hand side, some nice big sort of curves, you know, really luscious hair, you know, hair. You don't want it to be nice, big and bold. And that's going to follow that nice curve coming all the way around. And once you've got it done, you want to create what I call a cutout. So it's going to be little sections you can see on the right hand side where you have little bits that are going to be dark. It's almost if you sort of cut out the section from the dark background. And once you've got these little cutouts done, you can then add the little extra detail lines in between. Don't go too crazy at this point. You basically just want to build up, you know, details to sort of tell the shape of it. You know, focus on the shape, detail later. And we're going to do the same thing with the other sections to here now. So just kind of following the shape, building the cutouts, and then bringing the little line details around it to build it up. So as you've got left-hand side, you can work onto the right-hand side. So literally the exact same thing again, just grab those cutout shapes, so little sections just following that curve of the, you know, of the hair, and then the extra little line, uh, line details in between that. So you see it's all building up quite nicely now. I'm putting the line detail just around the bottom of the hair, just so you can see her top. 
So just following that curve around like so, just tells where the uh, top of the cop, uh, top of the top is, <laughs> and the curve line on the side. And I've just gone over the hand detail now, so going around the outside details, like so, and then I've just gone over everything that I feel confident about in dark line, including those little gaps in between the curves we've done in the hair. Once you've got that done, you can just erase those basic line details you've done. So big circles, all the extra details you don't need in there. You know, now's a good point to erase that. So we're going to start shading. And you don't particularly want them in there when you're shading. So I'm going to go over the eyebrows, you know, go nice and dark, and a little bit of darkness just inside the pupil fading down. Once you've got done, it's going to leave a little space just underneath the eye, and just put a bit of black just fading down and just above the upper eyelid. Just going towards the corner of the eyebrow. Nothing too crazy, you know, sometimes less is more. Now you can see this line detail just done around the nose, and this is where I'm going to do the shading from. So there's a curved line around the tip of the nose and underneath the bottom, and right down that line above it, just a little bit above, so you've kind of got a nice shine on the button nose and a shadow from underneath. Now you're going to get the lips in there. So lip, top lip, I'm going to divide into two sections. One's a bit lighter, one's a bit darker. Uh, the bottom lip is just a nice fade from the top line and a bit of fade from the bottom line, with a little bit underneath the chin. Now putting the rest of the face detail. So I'm basically going to shade from the outside of the face inwards, a little bit around the cheek line, and those little nice lines down around the mouth, just fading outwards a touch. Make sure we put a nice little shadow underneath the neck. You know, this uh, neck shadow is always a good thing to do because it divides the face from the neck and just makes it feel a lot more slimmer as well. And now you can see we've just done a bit of shadow in the hand. So just down from each knuckle area, just shading downwards and a little bit behind the hands, behind the fingers, a little shadow of the fingers on the, on the thumb, and a bit of shadow just on the outside parts of the hand as well. And once you've got it done, we can start going to the hair. So I'm going to do it section by section, just bringing the extra little detailed lines, just flicking my lines, create nice little highlights in between, just building up the shape and just expressing that curvature a bit more. You know, so just do this best, you know, little bit by little bit, you know, just build it up, you know, touch by touch. You know, don't sort of do too much at once. You know, once you kind of feel you have it like where you like it, just kind of like sort of call it there. You know, don't add too much detail for this particular style. You know, less is more with this. So just bring those lines to tell that shape with nice little highlights anytime there's a curve. And any areas that sit underneath, like behind the ear, that little bit in the top part of the hair, behind the neck part, you know, put a little bit more shadow. Now these lines are outlined here, these little circles and squares. This is where I want uh, tattoos. So I'm going to want above the eyebrow, on the cheek, on the neck, and on the fingers. So I'm going to start with the one above the eyebrow, and I'm going to put the word envy, a nice little sort of you know, italic kind of script. You know, these little extras you don't have to do, you know, I just love putting tattoos on my drawings. My signature X is going to go just on the uh, right hand, well, on her left hand cheek, on the right hand side. This nice little mandatory kind of flower I'm going to put on the neck. You know, sticking with a flourish kind of theme, I'm going to add some extra leaves, just come around the other side, a little bit lower down. You know, I don't want it to feel too parallel, so that's in a bit lower than what the flower is. And just to finish it off, a nice little tattoo, love written on fingers. And that just really finished it off for me. Now that's, you know, that's, and that's pretty much it, people. That's how you draw this beautiful woman with tattoos, luscious hair, and a lollipop. I've got many other videos just like this one as well, so make sure to check out my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if this was helpful for you guys. I am the Broken Puppet, and I'll see you next time. Peace.